Hello students, today we are going to study about the unsaturated hydrocarbons and their chemical properties. The last time we studied the saturated hydrocarbon and their properties and we are going to focus on the double bond that is the alkenes. Now just like we studied the alkenes, the saturated hydrocarbon and we said that the characteristic property is the substitution reaction, similarly over here for the unsaturated hydrocarbon, the characteristic property is unlike the saturated hydrocarbon, the saturated hydrocarbon, I mean it is addition reaction. So let us try to understand what is addition reaction and then we can write down some of the equations and some of the reactions, addition reactions to understand the chemical reaction of the saturated hydrocarbon. So let's go into the iPad and write down some of the, some of the equations. Now, let's first of all write down uh, what is addition reaction. So, addition reaction, A, D, D, I, T, I, O, N, addition reaction, R, E, A, C, T, I, O, N. Let's underline it with red pen. Yeah. So, what is addition reaction? Addition reaction is when two or more reactants or substance combine together to form a single product. We call it as addition reaction. So let's write that down. When addition reaction is a reaction when two or more reactants R-E-A-C-T-A-N-T-S two or more reactants combine to form a single product, to form a single product, D-U-C-T. We call it as addition reaction. So let us study it with the help of example. So first of all, we talk about hydrogenation. So let's understand what hydrogenation is. So let's write down first hydrogenation, H-Y-D-R-O-G-E. N A T I O N hydrogenation. Let's underline it. So now what is hydrogenation? Hydrogenation is the addition of hydrogen across the double bond in the alkenes. That is double bond is known as hydrogenation. So here what we'll see hydrogen is added to the double bond or across the double bond. So what we do is we take, let's write down the equation. Uh, we'll take ethene, let's make it into black. Hmm. Let's take ethene. Ethene is C2H4, that is gas, plus hydrogen. This is also gas. Why? Uh, they are both heated to a temperature of about 150 to 300 degrees Celsius and they passed over nickel catalyst and they form an unsaturated hydrocarbon that is ethene. So let's write that down. Equation. So hydrogen that is also in the gaseous form and temperature is 150 to 300 degrees Celsius and write down the nickel catalyst at the bottom. T A L Y S T catalyst. And what will it form? An unsaturated hydrocarbon like ethane, C2H6. So here we call this as hydrogenation. Now, hydrogenation reaction similar to the reaction with ethene are used in the manufacture of uh, margarine. margarine. Margarine is a semi-solid substance. Now, how do we prepare margarine? Usually, we have uh, sunflower oil or we can have corn, corn flour oil and we <coughs> pass it through uh, hydrogen and at a temperature at 150 to 300 degrees Celsius over uh, nickel catalyst and we will get a spreadable substance like margarine. This uh, margarine that we have is a semi-solid substance but when we look at the unsaturated hydrocarbon, they are uh, liquid and they are actually they are 
uh, rich in polyunsaturated uh, molecules. This means that their melting point is very relatively low. And even if you put it in a refrigerator, they will be liquid. So they can be converted into semi-fluid, uh, semi-solid uh, like margarine. This is known as hydrogenation of fat. So this is one good example of uh, addition reaction where hydrogen is added to the double bonds of the saturated, unsaturated hydrocarbon that is ethene. Now the next example is uh, what we call as hydration. Let's understand hydration. H Y D R A T I O N. Let's underline it hydration. Now hydration is again a very good example of uh, example to show uh, addition reaction. So in case of hydro, hydro, hydration, hydration over here again what we are using is its addition of water. We are adding water to ethene and this uh, the water is uh, in the form of steam because we keep a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius and an atmosphere of 60 atmosphere and again over here this time we use a catalyst like phosphoric acid H3PO4 and it's converted it converted into an alcohol known as ethanol so let's write down the equation and understand it C2H4 that's gas plus water water is also gas because it's in the form of steam so we can make it write down steam underneath H-T-E-A-M and write down the temperature 300 degrees Celsius atmosphere 60 atm and phosphoric acid h3po4 it will be converted into ethanol c2h5oh so here again this is a very good example how uh, hydration takes place and how addition reaction takes place hydrogen is added and uh, like in the form water is added in the form of steam and ethene both of them are passed over uh, catalyst that is phosphoric acid but remember we have an uh, atmosphere of 60 atm so this is a very good example of uh, addition reaction let's take the third example the other another example a very useful example is what we call as br bromination now bromination bromination is a very important uh, test and this test is actually used to identify or differentiate the identification of a saturated hydrocarbon and unsaturated hydrocarbon so let's start uh, let's write the equation and then learn about it so let's write the definition term bro bromination n a t i o n so the term itself tells us that bromination connected with bromine that means addition of bromine so if uh, an alk alkene such as ethene is shaken with a solution of bromine water it will lose its color bromine water has a color of orange brown in color so it will lose its color this is actually used as a test for the unsaturated hydrocarbon whether they are double bond or triple bond so we can identify a saturated and an unsaturated hydrocarbon by the bromination addition reaction so usually it's a very important test and which is used to identify the saturated hydrocarbon from unsaturated hydrocarbon if you use bromine water with the saturated hydrocarbon no color change will take place but with the unsaturated the orange brown color will decolorize will change become colorless so let's, let's write down the equation and understand it so bromination we will take ethene c2h4 gas plus bromine br2 and aqueous this is aqueous and we will add we can write down here orange o r a n g e orange brown b r o w n this is very important to write down the color and what will be the product? The product will be C2H4Br2. So here <coughs> this becomes 
colorless. So this is, uh, let's write the colorless a little on top so we can see it. This becomes colorless, C-O-L-O-U-R-L-E-S-S. -S. So this test is a very important test and it is used for identifying the saturated and unsaturated. So here what actually happens is the double bond in ethene breaks open and forms new bonds to the bromine atom. And we know this type of reaction where a double bond breaks and adds to two new atoms. Uh, we call it as addition reaction. So these three are very important addition reaction of the double bond saturated hydrocarbon. So I hope students you have understood all the reactions and you have you can differentiate between the characteristic properties of the saturated hydrocarbon that was substitution reaction and the unsaturated hydrocarbon that is the addition reaction. Students, if you like my videos, please share it with your friends and uh, please, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It is very important when you subscribe because that will encourage me to make more videos like this. Thank you, students.